So let's start off the show with a healthy debate. But first, before we get to the debate, let's set the debate up. And by setting the debate up, I mean I'm going to go on a crazy rant. See, I live in America. (laughs) Well, you do now. I live in America. Yeah. Home of through liquor stores and Sharknados. <laughs> home of indoor skydiving and outdoor movie theaters. Home of <laughs> some third thing that I'll think up later. America is a pop culture paradise full of liberty and freedom. As long as you ignore all of the spying by the government and by the, the corporations. Like, I'll watch TV shows. Like, I'll just watch a TV show. Uh-huh. And then, like, the next day, there's an ad for the TV show on my Facebook page. And it's like, I didn't even mention yeah. on Facebook yeah. that I watched the TV show. So it's it's like, it's, so Facebook is spying on me? But then I go, oh, wait, we kind of already all know that, right? Yeah. 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 So I really shouldn't be shocked. So it's, anyway. And, America, and what I like, what I like is when... Facebook lies about who likes something. I yes. know for a dead stone cold fact that Jeannie never liked the Walmart Facebook page. Nope. <laughs> but every now and then an ad for Walmart will pop up and it'll it'll have Jeannie, you know, Jeannie and these two other friends like this. Kind of a thing. Yeah. I'm like, really? the fuck they did. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't have been me. What so would I've... be funny? What would be funny is if Facebook just just like two years ago went to Genie and said, "Hey, Genie, yeah, you like ice, don't you?" Yeah. And then Genie went, "Yeah, I guess I like ice. I mean, ice keeps drinks cool. Great, yeah. ice is in Walmart. You like Walmart now? Hey, hey! everybody." Genie, <laughs> fucking that hate would, Walmart. Like I could see that happening. <laughs> I, so, so my position on this is, God damn, what a fucking invasion of our privacy! Every goddamn second of the day, we are being watched. Yeah, yeah. but it's kind of convenient, actually. <laughs> And you don't have to go looking for it. You know, you go looking for something. You go searching on Amazon. You were probably watching something on Amazon Prime, I would bet you. Um, you go looking for something on Amazon. Then later on, hey, you don't really quite find it. And then you're scrolling through Facebook. And it's like, oh, those are the underwear I was looking for. Yeah, like my Facebook keeps, my Facebook keeps telling me that the, the Marvel Live stadium tour is coming to Oklahoma City and yeah. it's like why are you telling me this and then it shows me a video and it's like oh wait a second Maxwell would shit himself <laughs> like, ah, thank you for knowing me Facebook because you know what he would love the shit out of this <laughs> like the Marvel live stadium tour essentially it's like an hour long um uh, Miami Vice stunt show spectacular for Marvel superhero characters. Oh, okay. And it, and it and it travels stadiums throughout America, and it's coming like in a couple of months to the Chesapeake Arena in Oklahoma City. And it's like, why are you giving me ads for this? Oh, wait, because I have Maxwell. Oh, yeah, no, he would love this. Hey, okay, this is something that we'll consider. Thank you, Facebook, for spying on my family. Yeah. Yeah, so it's so so it is it is convenient. Yeah. No, it absolutely is convenient. Every once in a while Facebook will remind me of some TV show or something. Yeah, no, it's wonderful. Yeah. But, so we are we are in, at a point in history where we actually have to whenever the world returns to sanity that is we we're actually going to have to decide which privacies we are going to give up yeah and what they're allowed to be used for yeah the thing (laughs) the thing that gets me is that the spying started with george w bush and people were like look at this 
look at this, the NSA and the government, they're spying on you. And, and like all of white America said, they're spying on us? Good. Well, I'm willing to give up some of my secrets for for freedom. Yeah. I'm, I'm willing to be spied on if it means to stop terrorists. And then uh, Obama comes into office and Obama says, I am going to be continuing the exact same spying that George W. Bush started. Oh, my God, the government's spying on us. <laughs> oh, my God, the black man is spying. What I meant to say is, oh, my God, the government is spying on us. But the right, the right always does that. Yeah. The right always does that. That's, that's why they're now calling us the violent left. Yeah. What the fuck? You yeah. put out the NRA commercial telling people to shoot us. Yep. What the good fuck? Yeah. Anyway, anyway, America. And I know this is going to be difficult for me to say now that we're talking about all, all of this, but God damn it. America is a paragon of virtue. Yeah. As long as you suppress knowledge of all the brown people that our nation has ruthlessly killed. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, besides all of the dead brown ch- women and children, our country is a paragon of virtue. Yeah. So as a proud, ignorant American, I always find myself sort of aghast when I'm watching the news or PBS or something. Yeah. And they're doing a special report from some third world country with citizens who've been trampled on by a mad power hungry dictator mm-hmm. who is uh, backed up by an angry military and by their state sponsored news that only fawns and glows on their on their supreme leader and yeah. shit. You know? Like this situation happens all over the world all of the time and then sometimes I see I Sometimes I see events unfold on TV or in a newspaper or something like that. And sometimes I'm upset and disgusted. And then sometimes, because I'm an American, sometimes I just don't give a shit. Mm -hmm. Because as an American, I have earned the right to not give a crap about foreign countries. (laughs) Sorry, but it's true. That's one of the rights of an American. Okay. You could not care about other nations when you're an American. Because that's what Americans do. <laughs> so anyway, we're getting to the actual what debate. what we're good at. Yeah, we're really good at that. what we're good at. Yeah. yeah. Great at that. But we're getting to the actual debate, part of the debate soon. Um, it's coming as well. My way of storytelling is very much around the world, but it's the journey that counts. I've often wondered how these nations allowed things to get so bad. Then I started looking around. So, Bunny, Mm -hmm. it's debate time. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Question. Is Fox News state-sponsored media? I've heard it called that. I would really need to get a better definition of the term. Donald Trump is definitely... The scary fucking part is not so much that Donald Trump is speaking through Fox News. Is that he is doing things that Fox News fucking tells him to do, and there's been several yeah. instances of that. I was going to say, he's not so much as speaking through Fox News as Fox News speaks through him a lot yeah. of the time. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, I, 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 I'm going to go with yes uh, with the codicil that I need further clarification on exactly what that that phrase means. I say for all intents and purposes that yes, they can't they can't report objectively. They they are in with the president and shower him with praise. Meanwhile, the president is on TV saying that all other news that's not Fox News is fake. Only one channel can be trusted. Yeah. Basically, that makes Fox News no better than any state sponsored dictatorial news like in North Korea or anything like that. Yeah. Well, well, you, you, you had fucking Sean Hannity at one point on his show uh, talking about this thing about lawyers and 
then started like out and out appealing, Mr. Trump, you have to fire them. You have to fire them all. You have to fire. Fucking next day, he fired the judge in New York. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so like, fuck. Yeah. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what they're talking about and who are the situations. It's just. They don't hold anyone to account on Fox News. Today, we're sitting down with Ivanka Trump. Ivanka. Mm -hmm. Explain to us, please, what your father's farts smell like. Yes. You know? Mm Mm-hmm. And that was their recent interview with Ivanka Trump. I it's said very similar, yes. Yeah, basically. I um I didn't I didn't know that everybody would be so mean. Yeah. Oh yeah. fuck you, Barbie. Yeah. Okay, let me put it this way, okay? If we had a ministry of propaganda, okay, it'd be yeah. Fox News and Alex Jones. <clears throat> yes, very much so. That that I'll stand behind. Yeah. I think the only difference between like state sponsored news in North Korea and like um news Fox News is that in America we have other choices. But beyond that, I don't see any difference between like a news station in a foreign country that's run by the government. Yeah. Because essentially that's what Fox News is right now. Your yeah. sandwich is on the table. 